the 2002 Joseph Moda. Now this was a radical vintage like no other in the 25 years of Joseph. Very cool vintage, no rain, dry, and ultra low yielding uh, season. Uh, it was just a, 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 that combination of factors just hasn't, uh, hasn't happened uh, again or since. So this wine has, has always been just a fascinating wine because, I mean, we're talking, uh, it, it was less than half a tonne per acre, the fruit from our McLaren Vale and Clarendon Vineyards, and from that really cool year. So I'm expecting a lot of fragrance, and, um, and that's what you get. It's, it's, there's just those cool conditions produced um, some really amazing fragrances very, very, very strong, very open, and on the palate, just a, a really lovely, sweet fleshiness. You can tell it was not as sunny a vintage as normal, but there's, there's just some really beautiful highlights on the palate and on the nose from just a really, really pretty fruit. And it still shows up. There's not really many tannins in the wine. Um, it's, it's soft. And uh, it, this wine is just going to go for many, many more years, despite the fact that it wasn't anywhere near one of our densest motors. So, you know, it's, it's just looking beautifully today. Uh, four stars out of five. And I think this has many, many years to go. There's just a lovely, lovely fragrance. Um, I think there's more to reveal in this wine, so I, I think this is going to drink beautifully until at least 2020, and then we'll see what happens from then on.